Well, the first time I came here, the cows, we got to be with them for quite a while, and uh, they were ankle deep in their own feces, and most of them were crying, and they were really small, they were like babies. Yeah, seeing the look in their eyes, you know that they know what's going to happen, and you know what's going to happen, and all you can do is uh, take a photograph or take a video and share it and hope that someone can look into those same eyes and feel what they're feeling and make a change. So it's really difficult. It's really hard to be here, but it's really the least we can do. This is not enough to be vegan. It's just, it's a neutral position. We have to, we have to do something uh, to try to end what's happening. Because if we just don't participate in it, we're still ignorant to what's happening and we're not doing anything to stop it. And if there were humans inside of here, there would be thousands of us out here fighting for them. So it's really important that we make a stand and we show our presence here to protest against what's happening and that we give love to the animals and expose what's happening. Uh, we live in a society where we're so disconnected from what happens, even as vegans. And coming face to face with this, um, it really puts it into check of what's going on. I think it's very easy for us all to become desensitized to this because we grow up um, with names like pork or ham or beef or, you know, um, other words that disconnect you from um, realizing that it's an animal that you're eating, you know? And um, we've been so brainwashed into, uh, from the industries into thinking that this is okay and it's just food. And um, a lot of people don't know the truth of where it actually comes from. These beings being forced into um, using their bodies over and over again. And, um, you know, they're basically enslaved and tortured and they're in these horrible conditions that um, we've just deemed that we're in charge of them for some reason. Well, my first vigil was um, about a year ago. It was a pig vigil. And that was my first time being up close to uh, these animals. And it was, um, it was an unreal experience because uh, to see them up close in those conditions, there's nothing like it. Like seeing them on videos, it just doesn't compare to seeing them in person. And you feel their energy. You feel that they are scared and that they're sad and they know that they're going to their death and um, you can see it in their eyes how scared they are and making that connection in person um, is truly un unreal. There's nothing like that and I think everyone should make that connection. Everyone should see these animals firsthand in person to see what's actually going on with them.